Hello people, I'm Mr. Nia, you can call me on page, and welcome to a special Yugi Moth episode of the Neo Show. Now, this may seem like a really half-assed and totally lame episode because I'm all by myself and there's no Pepsi Fire, but everything is supposedly Yu-Gi-Oh related in this episode, so hopefully that more makes up for it. Now, originally, this episode was going to be me reacting to the Yu-Gi-Oh! GX YouTube poop that I refused to react to before reacting to Pegasus' True Colors. Because I have it queued up and ready to go. But, while finding it, I managed to find something totally unexpected, to say the least. It's a YouTube poop called Friendship is Yu-Gi-Oh! I really hope this is Yu-Gi-Oh! themed enough that I can justify putting it in the video. It was created by the Wicked White Stripe in collaboration with Steel Wind Claw, and it's only three minutes long, so might as well get this out of the way first. Three, two, one, go! Oh look, the first episode! Except without the storybook stuff. What is that music, though? That's what I want to know. Did I hear that correctly? My volume's down. Oh, is it over? Friendship is Yu-Gi-Oh! Or is Yu-Gi-Oh! Friendship? Um... This is gonna get annoying, isn't it? Yep, there's a spike. A spike. He's right there! <laughs> is this easier than Where's Waldo? I value your deal. <laughs> what do you see, sir? The fake. Evil Elvis. And Evil Elvis has its time to buy a Evil Elvis? The hacker is Evil Elvis. I the first time I watched a YouTube video, it included a Cyber Chase Solomon. That's good. Hey, look, Mordecai. Mordecai is Sonic. Confirmed. Um. The hell was that? Oh, Dodger Frick. <laughs> what does any of this have to do with Yu Gi Oh? Come on. You're embarrassing me in front of the entire audience. Oh, okay, there we go. There's a baby dragon. That counts. Oh my god. I don't know if I love this or hate this. Time wizard? Um, ouch. Ooh, Sonic says. Which one is this? The washing machine? When I was a lad, I ate four dozen eggs every morning to help me get large. And the Yu-Gi-Oh! ending credits music that'll probably give me a claim for copyright if I don't lower the volume. Good thing I did. So is the whole thing just gonna be the Adventures of Sonic music with Yu-Gi-Oh! Is this gonna be the end credits of Sonic with Yu-Gi-Oh! music now? Is it over? Is it... It looks about over, unless they add something new, surprisingly. Ha, <laughs> dick animation. Hmm? What good is that thing? What good is the channel name? Um, it's the identity, of course. Um, I've... It's an interesting YouTube poop, but I still feel like I wasted my time with this crap. Uh... I might as well, before we move on to our feature presentation, I might as well make an attempt to put some Yu-Gi-Oh! synergy back into this by telling you a story of my childhood. Alright, are you all sitting comfortably? You got a bowl of popcorn? That's good, because today I will tell you the story of when I first got interested in Yu-Gi-Oh! Once upon a time, I was like, nine or ten years old and my parents were going out I can't tell if they were grocery shopping or they were trying to rekindle their love or something 
but I was very well aware of my autism, but I don't know exactly what that meant. But, um, I knew for a fact that it meant I was special. Like, special. So, my parents hired a babysitter. There was a guy that lives in our neighborhood, his name is Chris. You know him now, he's my best friend and appears on the show at times. At the time he was 18, he prepared me a TV dinner and really didn't bother me. So I figured, eh, I might as well get out there and get noticed. So I put my dish away and I noticed he was in the living room watching television and it was, it was playing a cartoon, but not just any cartoon. It was this weird cartoon with cards and monsters and numbers and rules and stuff. At first, I really had no idea what it was. Um, I can remember that two of the main characters that I saw were a guy that looked like he was wearing a military uniform and a vampire. After I watched a little bit of it with him, he explained what the series was, what Yu-Gi-Oh was, and then, like, he showed me the game. I had no idea what I was doing, but man, if I didn't have fun, well, I didn't. And then, a few months later, curiosity got the better of me, and I decided to watch the rest of the episodes on Cartoon Network during their Maguzi block. And that's when I figured out that it was actually Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. I watched a couple episodes, got really confused, but then they started airing them sequentially and I managed to catch up every day and then every week they would show a new one on 4Kids on Saturdays, back when, they had, back when Saturday morning cartoons existed on the local stations. So I have Saturday morning cartoons to thank for my love of Yu-Gi-Oh! because in addition to catching up on GX and watching new episodes, I also managed to catch a few episodes of the classic show. It didn't really appeal to me, but it felt nice to see the deep, dark origin story of the whole thing. Well, not the true origin story, but like the origin of the TV series. So, after a while, I noticed that Chris went to the same school as me. And I mean that, like in a weird sense, because at the time, I was in third or fourth grade and he was in 12th grade, so the only time I got to spend with him was at the was when I got to sit at the back of the bus with all the other high schoolers. And we would talk about Yu-Gi-Oh! and occasionally he would come over, show me Yu-Gi-Oh! and I'd have a good time. I'd buy my own cards and I would play casually. It's fun. And then, after he left high school, I rarely ever saw him, and I didn't know anyone else I could play Yu-Gi-Oh with. I felt lonely, and I felt like I should give up, but then I kept watching the show, and then I figured out a video game came out. I saw it at Walmart, and I bought it with money. After I discovered the video games and the community, I figured out I wasn't alone. There were people like me, nationwide, hell, all throughout the world, that loved Yu-Gi-Oh as much as I did, so I never lost hope. I just kept at it, buying the cards, watching the shows. Years later, I ran into Chris again. He was job hopping, and at the days he would have off, I would invite him over to my place, and we'd play video games, play Yu-Gi-Oh, do whatever we wanted. We became great friends. He started getting into Magic the Gathering, so I started following him, seeing what it's all about. It was okay, but I wasn't really into the economic system they were putting forth, where you had to buy the newest cars to keep going. So, I wasn't really enjoying the public scene when we started playing in events. And I could tell Chris wasn't either, so after a while we stopped and went back to Yu-Gi-Oh! I enjoyed myself, he enjoyed himself, but he's always trying to find the new big thing, something that Something for grown-ups to enjoy, that kids can play to, and have like a grand, friendly community overall. Like, pretty much the best of all the worlds. We tried Force of Will. It blew. We tried Pokemon. It was okay. We tried the My Little Pony card game. It was weird. In the end, we went back to Yu-Gi-Oh! 
and then he went back to magic. But I'm still holding on to Yu-Gi-Oh, because Yu-Gi-Oh is how we met. I love it, and I know people that love it, and like, if it wasn't for Yu-Gi-Oh, none of this would have been possible. So, I would like to take the time to thank the creators of Yu-Gi-Oh, and everyone out there in the playing community for inspiring me to hang on to my childhood hopes and dreams and to never give up. But I've rambled on long enough, let's get into the feature presentation, because while I would love to continue rambling, I have a show to do. So this is the YouTube poop that I refused to watch. It is called YouTube Poop Game On. Like, like the pun is that it sounds it sounds like Game On, because that's the theme song of GX. But it's like Game On, like Pokemon, except instead of Poke, it's gay. It's funny. It was created by Captain Pan, but here's what the description says, and this is why I don't want to watch it after the f like the first time I refused it because. I liked GX, I didn't want anyone destroying the memory of it, but now I really don't want to watch this because of this description. He says, quote, Why did I watch this? Why did anyone watch this? This is the worst show I've ever seen in my entire life. How dare you request me to watch it, let alone make a YouTube poop out of it. I demand compensation for this torture you put me through. I demand money. I demand money from countries all over the world. I demand a direct formal apology. My phone number is redacted. Say you're sorry. End quote. But then he also says my two year anniversary poop the best one I've ever made. So I don't know if he really hated it or if he really loved it or... <sighs> this whole thing confuses the hell out of me and it really making me feel weird watching about because I'm about to watch it but I have to make a video it is Yugi month people want to see me react to things that make me uncomfortable and here we go you can't really see it but I'm getting goosebumps right now like I don't know if 1080p can convey that but I bet if I had a 4k camera you'd probably be able to see it okay here we go three Two, one, start. <clears throat> Ooh, Source Filmmaker. Oh my god, I love Source Filmmaker stuff. Um, well, this is the definition of YouTube poop. Um, uh, I don't really know what's going on. Let's shit? Did he say let's shit? <laughs> Did he just punch the Joker? Digimon! <laughs> Chris should be watching this. What? Oh my god, this is so weird beyond comprehension. Um, Mark all the shows no shows. Mark all the shows no shows. No, 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 What? We went to different school for the past three years. My name's Michael Cyrus, by the way. Nice Did he say Michael Cyrus? What's all the asses? Is that a dodgeball? Did you just call me sister? No. I have a penis, thank you. Press this button. Press this button. Oh my god, the UR Pirate song. Yep. Freak out! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Douchebag! Oh my 
my god! Game on! More like swear mon! <laughs> SEXY! <laughs> I've never seen an American guy hit on a British guy before. This is a whole new level of gay that I haven't seen. I'm not necessarily against it, but it's new to me. <laughs> that looks nothing like Master Chief! We I have a keyboard, I will play a song for you. I'm gonna summit the wrong Mexican. It's a dead the what who? Is this a live action anime now? Since I'm using my one than Is that Tails the Orange? Did he just say constipate? He did! The Weird Al Clip played! Oh my god! <laughs> Waluigi? Oh, Mama Luigi, not Waluigi. I really gotta turn the volume up on this TV. Yep, that is heavy. Non. Um, hint. Oh my god. I want to go home! I did a better evil laugh than that. What? Just yell out my spleen like I did. He's gonna take a shit. He's gonna take a shit. <laughs> oh my God! Here we go. It was the realization that you're a kid that watches cartoons. Okay, I said that wrong. What did he just... What is that? Is that a raccoon? Is that like Sly Cooper or something? A pussy with wings. I think that was the joke they were going for. Yeah, well, fuck you. Oh my god, I, I'm not a Texas, but I can feel the offension, the offensiveness, the offensiveness, fuck. <laughs> what am I watching? I hate my life now. Uh, what did he just say? Did he just say James fucked? Cause I think he's about to win. Skype? There's no card Skype! <laughs> this is what we call an abuse of the chroma key feature. It happens when you have no idea what you're doing and you're trying to make something weird. Whoa, fire! What? Kabloom! Oh god! Jazz is cold! <laughs> What's that, Oscar? Well, good thing the distortion's on, or else I would get caught for that footage. That's Jigsaw, he wants to play game.
future, for that is where you and I are going to spend the rest of our lives. Um, what does this have to do with the video? Is that a bomb? What am I watching? What is... Why does this have to do with Yu-Gi-Oh! or gay stuff? Did they just add explosions because they could? Thanksgiving? It must... It must be sauce. Sara Lee. Oh. Uh, yeah, I read Gamer? Um, if you saw what I saw, then that proves that I'm not on drugs. Because what I just saw was the most batshit, random, insane thing I have ever watched in my entire life. That's not to say I didn't enjoy it, but... It just made me feel weird knowing that I've now been exposed to it, and I can never forget this. Well, I'll try really hard to forget this, but then I'll remember it again if I ever show it to Catch Chris in, like, another episode, because there's more Yu-Gi-Oh! YouTube poops out there in the world. I want to react to as many as possible, and I want Chris to join the fun. So, until next time, this has been M-Page, and I'm gonna go drink a pop.